Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your singles reading for November. Who's coming towards you? Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. How to reach out for personal reading, uh, decks I'm using, social media links. Uh, my PayPal link is there if you choose to uh, tip or donate. I have an Amazon wish list down below with my P.O. box if you want to send some sort of mail or a gift or anything like that. Tons of stuff down there, so please do go check it out and thank you. And thank you for all those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you. All my new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel, thank you for those blessings and thank you for being a part, everyone for being a part of the channel's growth, getting the messages out, helping to spread them and um, being a part of it. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Gemini. Gemini. Hi, Gemini. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. So this is a singles reading, who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection, and so on. This can be for now, up till whenever. So it's timeless reading. All right, take what resonates, throw, throw away the rest. I also can pick up on past, so if you're like, gee, I already met this person in this situation years ago, that can happen. So please keep that in mind. All right, let's see, Gemini, singles, who may be coming towards you. Who may be coming towards you? Let's get a couple of signs. Let's get a couple of signs. Who may be coming towards Gemini? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Can we get a couple of signs for... Oh, we got two right there. So I thought it was one. We got two. We have Cancer and Aries. So some could have a water sign. Some pe could be getting a fire sign. Or you could be meeting someone with both these signs in their chart in some way hmm. okay so let's look into who may this person be what kind of energy will they be in what kind of person what kind of person will they be who are they what kind of person who are they what is their energy like spirit please for this possible person coming into gemini what is their energy like spirit please thank you so much and one more shuffle okay all right for gemini singles what is the energy like of this person that may be coming towards gemini spirit please thank you so much can we get one card for the energy that's way too many Way too many, just one for their energy. Okay, so, wow. So we have nine here, which is spiritual strength. So this may be somebody who, um, they could be a spiritual leader. They may even be in the uh, spiritual practice in some way, or even into religion in some way, or something like that. So someone who could be an actual spiritual leader or religion leader or something like that. Somebody who has very strong uh, faith, value, morals, uh, who's in tune, in touch with their body, who they are, with source, with divine energy. Uh, wow, somebody who probably prays and meditates a lot and that sort of energy. Now this is the Nine of Wands energy which talks about, uh, you know, talks usually about that wounded warrior. You know, this person may have gone through a lot in their life. They've learned a lot of lessons which have made them stronger. I feel this is a very strong person. No matter what they've been through, no matter what they've done, no matter what happened to them, they still, still persevere on, they fight on, they have that inner strength, willpower, determination to keep going on. And very strong uh, spiritual religious basis, I feel also. It can be any kind of religion, any kind of spiritual path here. Wow, somebody, very strong individual. Okay, so let's look at when, like what time, what time of year? Like when could a Gemini meet this person? All right, so now we have the 
Six of Wands and Wands is fire and fire is springtime. So this could be in the springtime season, which is what, uh, May, May to, no, well, springtime, <laughs> I know my seasons, um, March, April, May, yeah, March to, March, April, May, we'll see, summer starts in what, June, so, yeah, springtime, so, so it could even be at the end of spring, like the beginning of uh, June, because we have six here. But springtime, springtime season. Wait a minute, is this? The colors look so similar here. Oh no, this is sword energy. This is sword energy, okay. It's very similar to the wand energy. They look almost identical, but it's not. This is swords energy, sorry about that. So this is winter. So winter starts what, next month? So sometime between December and March, right? Yeah, December and March. So, yeah, March. So, winter time. Oh my God, I need to learn my seasons. Holy crap. Could be around the sixth of the month. It could be uh, six weeks into the winter season. Could be a date with the six, with six in it here. So if it was six weeks into the winter season, it would be January, January 6th. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So let's see. Let's see here. Where will you meet this person? What circumstances? Hmm. Oh, so this is the crown chakra. So this is talks about um, deep higher known spirit. So you may even meet this person in church or in prayer or in a... Um, spiritual group or something like that or you may reach out to somebody for spiritual help mentoring uh mediumship i don't know something like that or maybe even reach out to somebody for chakra healing um or something like that where you may reach out to a healer or help from for some from somebody in, in your spiritual path or something like that or it could be in a spiritual group, a uh, religious group at church, or something like that. You may meet this person. Hmm. Okay. So let me just move these over. All right. So, how will you, how will you come about about meeting this person? Under what circumstances? So we got the kind of got the where, and we got like a lot of different. Uh, like locations or possibilities. So how would you come upon meeting this person? Oh, so maybe outside. So you, could you see the grass here? So you may be uh, outside somewhere, maybe even outside of a church. Maybe you're just walking by. Maybe you're sitting outside on a bench or something like that. Um, and you run into them or it could be like an outside group maybe it's a group or a social activity and it's like outside with a um, spiritual group a religious group you could be on some sort of uh, retreat or something like that although in the winter it would be cold and did I not say uh, January over here six weeks into winter would be January and we have one here January so so yeah, I feel like outside, something outside with either a uh, function, seminar, I don't know, something, spirituality, religion, or something outside. Hmm. And you may just like, you know, run into them, or maybe you're, you see the hand here, so maybe there's something where you have to, I don't know, join hands or do something, and they're like next to you, and... Uh, that's how you kind of meet them. Sounds kind of strange, I guess, but, huh. And it's almost like, a, this is a, you know, a new beginning. So this is like, it's like really clear. That says triumphant success. So if I read these cards here, 
you know, I'm just taking in the energy of like the specific things I asked for, but if I read the energy of the cards, wow, this is going to be like, this is like a divinely guided um, beginning with this person. It's almost like a divinely guided connection because you have spiritual strength. So they're a very strong spiritual um, go-getter type of energy. And we have victory and success here. So, so I see here, uh, you know, I take this as winter. Could specifically be January if it's six weeks into the winter. But this says victory and success. So this could be victorious and successful. Crown chakra. Um, again, I feel like, you know, some sort of uh, spiritual religion, religious uh, function or something like that. Or you could just uh, be reaching out to somebody for uh, like chakra healing or something. Maybe they do it outside. I don't know. Be cold in the winter though. But um, yeah, some, some, something outside. Yeah, definitely here. And this is triumphant success again with the Ace of Swords. So this is will be clear as day. Be like clear as day. Like, wow, it's like an instant connection. Wow. All right. So if you connect with this person... Gemini, what kind of connection will it be? What kind of connection will it be? What I mean, they could even be the pastor of the church. Maybe they're single, a leader of the spiritual group. Could be anything here. All right, so what kind of connection? You know, and this is the Ace of Swords. So maybe this is like a new, could be a new venture for you, venturing into a new uh, spiritual path or something like that. Maybe you attend a new church. Maybe you attend a new spiritual group or attend something with a, with a group or a social, uh, gathering or something where it's open to the public and you decide to go and join in. And that also could be how you meet this person. All right. So let's see Gemini to shuffle this way what kind of connection will this be if you connect with this person coming into you gemini what kind of connection will this be so we have purification fire bare essentials the naked truth wholeness 14 which is five which is about change so yeah, I'm getting that maybe you, you know, purification, fire, maybe, you know, maybe they have like a fire outside or something and some kind of ceremony around a fire. I, I don't know, but I feel like purification, I mean, that's like stripping everything down, starting over, um, become a hope, becoming whole again. So maybe you've decided to strip everything down, strip away your past beliefs, your you know, whatever spiritual, religious path you had before, maybe you decided, you know, it's not working for me anymore, you know, deciding to strip that all away, getting down to the bare essentials, the bareness of it and the truth of it and becoming whole again and finding this new passionate uh, beginning in this new spiritual path. And I think that's where you're going to meet this person. Wow. Wow. And I see it'd be a very passionate connection also with the fire here, with the purification. Be very exciting, passionate kind of um, energy. Wow. All right. So let's see, Gemini, what your advice, what's your advice with this connection? What's your advice, Gemini, with this connection? What's Gemini's advice for this connection? You know, maybe you'll purify each other. I, I, I don't know. Uh, all right. I'm get one good shuffle. One good shuffle for Gemini. Thank you. Okay. What's Gemini's advice with this possible connection coming towards them for singles? What's Gemini's advice? For this connection you and your loved ones are safe so I feel like um, and we got new moon and cancer so they definitely could be a cancer here 
and fire does represent Aries. So that's just clarifying that it could be a Cancer or Aries for some of you, you and your loved ones. I say, I feel like, like divine energy here is protecting this, like the universe, the divine energy saying this connection is protected and it's a safe connection. So I think you could trust this connection. It's safe. It'd be safe for you. Wow. Okay. If you have uh, worries or doubts or anything like that, it says you and your loved ones are safe. So this is a divinely guided, protected connection. It's a safe connection, so you don't have to worry about having fear of it in any way. And I don't get any of that energy here. I see a very successful, passionate, fiery new beginning, a very strong connection. Wow. Wow, Gemini. Okay, so let's clarify the tarot. Let's clarify with the tarot. Clarify for the tarot. For Gemini. Let's clarify for Gemini. What do we have? Wow, for Gemini. So we have the five of wands. So this talks about conflict, competition, energy. Hmm. Fire energy. That's the um, Aries energy there. So, yeah, I don't know what that's about. The five of wands. You may feel conflicted about this. You may think it's too good to be true. But the energy is telling you here that it is good. It is true, and it is good, and it is safe. All right, so what else do we have for Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini? That's way too many. Take those two. Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, you know, this is putting in the work and the effort and the connection. Very slow, steady, stable energy, taking it very slow, working together. And again, here with the Three of Pentacles, you see these two here working together, uh, teamwork, collaboration. So a lot of um, stable, slow, steady growth, working together, putting in the work here. So very slow approach, very slow, dedicated approach here. Very stable and grounded, putting in the work and effort, like I said. So if you're feeling conflicted about this, like, oh, it's just too good to be true. This can't be real. Just take it slow. And, you know, work together with this person, teamwork, compromise, collaboration kind of energy. I mean, you may turn your back to them at the beginning because you're doubting it, because you're conflicted that it's too good to be true. And you may feel like you just want to concentrate on yourself, work on yourself. And here's strength energy. So I do feel like here it's going to be a very strong connection, very strong, fiery, passionate Connection that's about having willpower, stamina, strength, kind of energy. Very strong, passionate connection, I feel. What else? Right, what else do we have for Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini? The Hierophant. Wow, so this is about commitment. And did I not say they could be a spiritual leader a, um, or something like that? You know, I'm. I don't think they'll be a priest because obviously, but um, could be a pastor or something like that. This is a spiritual leader right here. And this is also about commitment. So this could lead to marriage, deep commitment of some kind. Again, they could be definitely, I felt that spiritual leader energy. And there it is coming up to clarify that. All right, what else do we have for Gemini singles? The hermit. So, you know, you may have to think about this for a while. Again, I think you're going to feel like it's too good to be true. But, you know, I think you'll think about it. You may retreat from them for a while. You know, this is about doing that inner journey work, finding your uh, way, your light. So, yeah, you may you may retreat and think about it. Say, and, you know, they may want commitment like right away. And maybe you might be like, eh, I don't know. So now we have the Queen of Cups energy. So that's uh, Cancer. So it can be male or female, doesn't matter. But love, emotions, feelings. So there will be love, emotions, and feelings here. 
But again, there's going to be a lot of fiery, passionate energy here with the devil energy. Um, it's not anything evil or anything like that. It just can be a very strong, passionate, as we got fire here, strong, very fiery, passionate sexual connection also. Um, but there is love too. So there's love and passion. And I think it's, you're just going to retreat and say, uh-uh, oh, oh, this is too good to be true. Too good to be true, but it is true. All right, so... Anything else for Gemini? Anything else for Gemini? The Two of Swords. So yeah, you're going to be indecisive. That's your energy. Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You may block them off uh, for our time here uh, in retreat and be a little bit indecisive. But um, I see a very strong connection. I see possible commitment, spiritual leader, wanting to work together, putting in the effort, taking it very slow. You know, getting over that inner conflict that you may have about this person. So it's going to be up to you what you're going to decide here with this. But it's a very strong spiritual connection. And here's the fiery, passionate messages coming forward. So Six of Swords energy. You know, you may decide not to take their offer and just move on alone. Or you may decide to uh, move together forward with them into a better place. But, you know, they're willing to put in the dedicated effort and the hard work here and take a very slow, practical approach. And this is long-term. Pentacles, you know, they're slow moving, but they're long-term. So I think they're going to work, want to work on this long-term, you know, moving together forward in a better place. Or you may decide to turn your back and go off alone. I don't know here, but they definitely want to communicate and make offers here with uh, very passionate energy with the Page of Wands. So... I see it's going to be up to you in the long run, uh, Gemini, what you decide here. I just think you're going to think it's too good to be true, but I see a very strong spiritual, probably connection here that's divinely guided. And you may refuse it or you may accept it. I don't know. It's going to be totally up to you, but um, I would say go for it. But in the end, that's your decision. Okay, Gemini, uh, I hope you like this. If you did, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings so you don't miss out. You get four readings a month. You get a single who's coming towards you. You get a love connection energy reading for someone you have a connection with. You get a general collective um, reading, tarot forecast. And you get a spiritual reading, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. If you're interested in all that and you would like that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out and you'll be notified when I post new readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.